okay question six uh, we have got a sketch below uh, shows the graph of g of x given by 2 to the power of x plus q and f of x given by log half uh, to the power of x the graph of f and the graph of g uh, and the asymptotes of g intersect at point b so we see that point b there and we see that point a here is the x intercept of f of x all right so it Question number one. Question number one says write down the coordinates of A, which is the x intercept of F. All right. Coordinates of A 6.1. Coordinates of A, which is the x inter x intercept. We get it when y is equal to zero. Okay. When y is equal to zero. So therefore, we're gonna put y is equal to zero on this graph here. Zero is equal to log half uh, x. When you want to remove x here in this case. You can write it like that. X is equals to zero. So therefore, you just going to remove this. You need to take this to the power half to the power of zero there. So it's going to be X is equals to half to the power of zero, which is equals to one. Therefore, it means A is going to be given by one zero. All right. Great stuff. So now that's how we deal with a question like this one. You just have to remember the basics of the X and Y intercept. All right. 6.2. 6.2 says uh, determine the domain. The domain they're referring to are to X values. So they're asking us for the domain. Domain in this case, where does this, on which values of X does this graph exist? Only when X is greater than zero, as you can see from the graph, guys, from zero going there this graph is available so now you can say from any values of x where x is greater than zero all right so now 6.3 6.3 says determine the equation of f prime in the form of y and x all right so this is what is originally given as a f of x graph so what you do when you want the inverse this is at the year in this case they are asking us for the inverse all right so they're asking us for the inverse so now this is what you do here what you do you swap x and y so we'll let's go ahead and do that we're gonna swap x and y therefore after that you solve for y again so this one half to the power of x so that we can remove the log so it's going to be half to the power of x then the log is gone there you go and this now becomes an exponential function so let's go ahead uh, 6.4 6.4 uh, says sketch the graph of f prime indicate all indicate your in intercept with the axis uh, the coordinates of one other point on the graph okay very very important then they are asking us to draw this graph show in they'll show the intercepts which is x and y and then therefore also show one point all right so let's go ahead and look at this one is given by y it's equals to half to the power of x if you have a look at this graph there is no way that you can find the x intercept so x intercept does not exist in this case is not uh, applicable so you can check that guys uh, you try to make zero here and then you solve for x you wouldn't be able to do that so let's go ahead and look for the y intercept and the y intercept we get it when x is equals to zero all right so when x is equals to zero what is y when x is equals to zero uh, y is going to be equals to one so that's our fixed x intercept then we can look for any point let's say for an example uh, what happens when x is equals to a negative one for an example what happens when x is equals to negative one in this case so it's going to be half to the power of negative one which gives us a y will be equal to two right so now we can come here guys and draw this graph instead right so here we are here a x intercept y is equals to zero so what happens when x is equal to negative 1 y will be equal to 2 here we go it will be equal to 2 there so here's the here's the point here so therefore we can easily draw this curve like that all right and that's how you deal with a curve like this one so therefore let's move right along 
to 6.5 guys if you're not understanding me please leave a comment on the comment section below and then also go ahead and watch our basics when it comes to functions we have got a series on this channel that is showing you all the basics in terms of how to deal with functions of exponents hyperbola parabola and then uh, sine functions as well cubic functions and you name them how to do the range the hyperbola line of asymptotes and how to deal with the general equations thereof all right so let's move to 6.5 i will try my best to leave the description and also the link to the function series on this channel all right so let's go ahead 6.5 says determine the line of asymptotes of g all right at 6.5 now let's analyze this properly 6.5 you are sitting here which is also on the f but your x value is is half but you don't know the y which is q so you are gonna come in this function and said okay what happens to the g function to the f function rather when x is equals to half all right so if you have that that will give us one therefore it means your y is equals to one which is ultimately it's equals to q so this is the equation of the line of asymptotes so therefore 6.6 .6 here in this case is a describe in ways the transformation of g uh, to the f prime so what happened was uh, in this instant remember the curve we draw that side uh, it was sitting somewhere here all right so which is this curve here guys we just drawed it now so it's here so now what happened was i didn't draw it properly it's, what, it's a bit lower somewhere there so what happened was what they did they took a reflection so they reflected this graph here which is f of x they reflected this graph reflection on a y-axis and then after that what did they do they shifted it shifted you see that one is a bit up that's why i said it's a bit low so they shifted it down shifted uh, down by one unit all right guys and that's how you would deal with a question like this one which was question six of june exam 2024 let me see you on the next upload i am gaston mapala where we'll be doing question seven